So first of all, I would like to do this session. It's on a regional look at health and wellness in Latin America. And today I'm joined by Becky Johnson, Executive Director at Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation, and by Mary Rollins, Senior Vice President at Discovery Education. And today we're gonna to be looking at an issue that's usually not addressed in Latin America. A lot of time when health is in the news, it is about epidemics like Zika, but we don't talk about the oncoming crisis like obesity. So Mary, can you give us a little bit of the Latin American context of this issue and what this initiative is trying to tackle and address? So if you don't mind, I think I'll take that rather than Mary. Uh, I'm not going to pressure Discovery Education to talk about that. But um, as many of us know, the prevention of non-communicable diseases is important for both developed and developing economies. Uh, these diseases um, threaten public health, the healthcare system, and take a steep toll on individual and collective productivity, and then also economic development, which is why it's no surprise that the World Economic Forum on Latin America has future health as one of their pillars. But what we need to do is we need to ensure access to quality and affordable health care for individuals across Latin America and really around the world. Um, and we also need to find ways to improve health and wellness and prevent those diseases that are avoidable for so many people. So the Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation is based in the U.S. We were founded in 2009 around the premise of really looking to provide solutions to this problem. We're a broad-based, not-for-profit organization that has partners from the food and beverage industry, public health, non-government organizations, um, and a variety of other, other aspects. Um, we also work with Discovery Education, which is a wonderful partner. But we wanted to create a plan um, to provide parents and children with the products, tools, and information that they needed to build healthy habits across a lifetime. So today the coalition has grown from 21 founding members to over 300 organizations that partner with us. One of the most important innovative programs that we've de developed is the Together Counts program. This was done in partnership with Discovery Education and Discovery Education is the global leader in standards aligned digital content. They also have the largest professional learning um, community of, their, of its kind. Since launching the Together Counts program, we've reached more than 35 million students in the US. It's been very successful. We did an impact study where teachers said that 90% of them saw positive changes in their students around making healthier nutrition choices, adding more physical activity to their week, and then also increasing the understanding of balancing food and activity um, on a daily basis. So we wanted to bring that to Latin America. So today, I'm thrilled to announce that a new organization is being created, the Latin American Commitment to a Healthy Future. The program will build on the success of the Together Counts program that we've implemented across the US, and we will first launch in Colombia. It's exciting, we actually launched today, and those materials are available on co.juntoscontamos.com. But these materials will be pushed out through Discovery in La Escuela, which is Discovery's partner throughout Latin America. And we created customized health and wellness school curriculum that helps students and their families make healthy decisions and better understand the importance of those decisions in the broader context of individual, family, and community health and wellness goals. These online educational resources are free. We really give them away for free. Um, and students and families across Colombia and soon additional countries will be able to use them. So we're proud to partner with Discovery in La Escuela that's in 17 countries throughout Latin America. They've reached over 2 million students and are in over 30,000 schools. In the coming months, we'll be announcing that we're expanding into Mexico, and potentially Brazil and other countries. But additionally, the Latin American commitment to a healthy future is also gonna have another website where we know that there are other people out there 
who are engaging in health and wellness programming, and we're looking for them to partner with us, and we want to share those programs. And also our current partners are already doing a lot in this area, and we want to promote what's going on. So we encourage you to visit that site as well. The program is going to be evaluated and adapted to maximize success and also explore additional innovative marketplace and educational initiatives that support healthy eating patterns and more physical activity for consumers. The Latin American Commitment to a Healthy Future is a multi-sector initiative that includes the support of private industry and not-for-profit organizations, including PepsiCo, the Coca-Cola Company, Coca-Cola FEMSA, and Postabon. We also have additional supporters throughout the region that are looking at joining as well. But at the crux of it all, we really believe every child deserves the opportunity to live an active, healthy lifestyle. And we want to help provide the tools to make that possible throughout this entire region. But we also know we can't do it alone. So we encourage other organizations to join us in this effort because we would like to build a similar coalition to what we have in the U.S. throughout Latin America. Wonderful. So now I'm going to ask Mary <laughs> this time um, to basically explain as the Senior Vice President of Discovery Education, how and why did you get involved in this initiative? Thank you, and thank you, Becky, for your ongoing partnership. We've worked together for six years in the U.S. developing tools and resources for schools, and we've really made a difference. And here we are. We're here sitting in Columbia, live and in person, and it's really exciting to be here. And it's an exciting week at Discovery because it's our birthday. 31 years ago, Discovery Channel was founded, and our chairman was from uh, a university at the University of Maryland. And he believed that knowing that people are curious, people want to connect with others and learn, he believed that media could do more than just entertain, that media and digital product could actually bring people together. It could inform, enlighten, and educate. And so shortly after Discovery was born, Discovery Education was born. And shortly after that, I came on to the team and began to work with partners such as Healthy Weight Commitment Foundation. Discovery Education is now more than 20 years old, and we're the largest provider of global digital content in, in schools around the globe. We provide content, teacher training, we provide digital textbooks, and many other resources that are all aligned to standards and in concert with various governmental organizations, ministers of education, and so forth. Our work now has broadened beyond the US. We now are available in 50 countries, um, with a variety of different products and partners along the way. We reach, we reach uh, 1.3 million teachers. This number keeps growing, so I have to check my old brain. 1.3 million teachers and 30 million students every day through our global reach. So these are folks that are going online, they're looking for content, they're looking for ways to engage today's learners, and they're able to satisfy their curiosity. And, really transform the way they're teaching and reaching kids. Discovery in La Escuela started 20 years ago, and we've been working everywhere from Argentina all the way to schools that border the US and Mexico. We work training teachers, helping teachers have access to our video content, and developing lesson plans, curricula, and so forth. It's an excellent program. Many of the schools here in Colombia are using Discovery in La Escuela. It's, it's free to them to use. So when Becky approached us about partnering with this initiative and we were brought together in dialogue with our partners, it made a lot of sense for us to get involved and really begin to dig into what made the most sense in Colombia and in Latin America. So in developing Juntos Contamos, we, the first thing we did, as we did in the US, is reach out to teachers. Um, they know what they need. They know how the system works. They, the first thing they told us is don't just create a bunch of new stuff, create materials that's going to fit into our existing curricula, that's matched to the standards that they're obligated to teach. And so we developed a series of lesson plans, activities, there are handouts and materials for parents, and all of this will be supplemented with professional development. We've found in the US and everywhere we work, it really isn't enough just to provide free content. It's, it's, teachers are the busiest professionals there are, and the hardest working, I might say. 
and they just don't have time for something that's additive. So we make it easy, we make it free, it's available of course in Spanish, and we'll be, teacher, we'll be training teachers both in person and through webinars. Lots of teachers love webinars. Many of them are using their mobile phones to connect, just using live stream. So we're just getting started. If you go onto the website right now, you'll see a wonderful assortment of lessons, activities, and parent materials. It will grow. Um, we're developing some interactive materials, almost game-like experience, experiences for kids. We're also developing videos. Um, we know that often people look to Discovery for excellent, trusted videos, and so we'll be adding videos to the site as well. So we're very excited. We know that this is an important topic. We know it's part of the broader conversation about Colombia's role and really it's, it's thought leadership as a country, as a nation emerging. We're very happy to be part of that and we're honored to be partnering here with you today. Thank you. So now that we have a context of the initiative, I'd like to actually invite experts, business leaders who are part of this initiative and are part of the coalition um, who made this happen. So I'd like to invite uh, Mr. John Santa Maria. I would like to invite Miguel Fernando Escobar and Mr. Laksam Nara Singham, and I apologize for the pronunciation of the name. So to get us started in the conversation, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Nara Siham, and you might need to pronounce your name again, I apologize, for the viewers on live stream. Um, but before you do that, could you let us know why did you choose Colombia as the launch country of this initiative? Sure, Ms. Tedeneke. <laughs> um, I'm Lakshman Nara Simhan. I run the Latin America business for, for PepsiCo. Um, this is a terrific initiative, and it's great to be over here on stage um, obviously with you, um, Becky, and with you from Discovery as well. Thank you for everything you folks do. And it's great to be on the same stage as well with our bottling partner, Postabon, and with our um, uh, colleagues from, uh, from the Coca-Cola company. Um, we chose Colombia uh, because Colombia is a very important uh, country for us. It is, uh, it is a regional hub uh, as, part, as part of our Andean business. And what we find is that, uh, you know, we've been in this country for over 60 years. Uh, and part of what we do in this place is uh, we get very engaged with the local communities. We think it's an incredibly important aspect of our business. Um, it fits in with what we define as being our sort of long-term vision for the company, which is performance with purpose, where what we try and do is ensure that we deliver top-tier financial performance, but integrate sustainability very much into the business. And our aspiration is to leave a positive imprint on society. Um, we are completely committed to addressing um, issues around health and wellness uh, that the sector faces as a priority. And uh, what we'd like to do collectively with our colleagues is ensure that we play a positive role in helping Colombians and the rest of Latin America uh, lead healthier lives. Thank you. Um, Mr. Santa Maria, as the executive, um, chief executive officer at PepsiCo, can you let us know what you believe will be the impact of this initiative on the region? Um, I think we got the company wrong. The oh. chief, I, I am the chief executive officer of Coca-Cola FEMSA. That is and, an awful um, mistake. It's a little bit different than what <laughs> Laxum does, but, <laughs> but we do compete. Okay. Um, and uh, so getting the records straight, um, I think this is a great initiative. I think you know, for us to be on the same stage together collaborating and making sure that uh, we're bringing social and economic and environmental value to our communities is probably the biggest uh, contribution a company can make. And we at the Coca-Cola company, and I also at the Coca-Cola Coca FEMSA believe that fully that these are the kind of things that we have to do together. Uh, we're here not competing as we usually do. We're here collaborating. We collaborate because we believe that an initiative like this starts and ends, or any kind of business, or any type of society, or any betterment that you have, ends with a sustainable consumer, a sustainable society. And if we do not prevent illnesses that we know that are going to harm our future or harm our environment, or you know, these things are going to go out there and be bad business, but it's also going to be a bad planet, and that's not something we want to do. So this initiative actually allows us to go out 
and putting a platform together. And I appreciate being a partner with DE and partner with Healthy Weight and uh, allows us to go out there and start reaching people on an initial basis and uh, start educating them as to why they have to change and how they have to change. And it's such an complex factor, you know, in terms of obesity. There's so many things people need to do that Colombia is probably one of the best countries that I can see today of starting. Because today, Colombia is starting to have an enormous amount of momentum, an enormous amount of openness, an enormous, enormous amount of change that is going to put them at the forefront if they're not there already for Latin America. So we're very excited about partnering with PepsiCo, with Postobon, with a Coca-Cola company, with a healthy weight commitment, and also Discovery Education to be able to do this. Thank you. Now, hopefully, I will not mess up the last one. It's my last chance. Um, so the last business leader we have is uh, Mr. Miguel Fernando Escobar, for, who's the president at Postobon. Um, my question for you is, um, what do you envision for as the future of this initiative? Buenas tardes. You said it very well. So, <laughs> thank you. First of all, I want to say thank you to the colleagues, uh, our partner, uh, PepsiCo, for allowing us to be part of this awesome program. Also to the Healthy White Commitment and Discovery Education. Because um, for Posto On, uh, this is not new, but it's a real different versus what we have done over the last 50 years. Posto On over the last many decades have been supporting all kinds of social activities to really transform, help our society to improve, to grow with us. And um, we have so many initiatives through different disciplines to really help kids to make progress to transform their lives. But today, we really find in this firm something that really tackle the issue, which is education. So we're convinced with education, we're going to really start seeing the needle to move to the right position. We're blaming many causes of this uh, health situation, this uh, obesity, and we're convinced that we're not facing the, the, the problem as we should. So for Postal On, it's a real honor and proud to be part of this program. Uh, Postal On will make all the efforts uh, we can put together in order to make this progress. We have big expectations to really um, support and uh, again, uh, transform uh, our lives of our kids in the poorest communities where the problem is. I want also to mention that uh, it's not just our problem. So we really want to invite uh, government, other ONGs, mm -hmm. and other industries to really join this program because this is not exclusive of the soft drink industry. There's many people that uh, should be uh, join this activity to really see a substantial and tangible progress. Perfect. So before I open the floor for a question, I would also like to note that we have an additional expert in the room, uh, Mr. Rafael Fernandez Queranos, who uh, is the Latin VP of Public Affairs and Communication at Coca-Cola. So is there any questions from, yes? Please state your name and your organization. Roberto Beckham, Medellin Herald. The elephant in the room is you all sell sugary drinks. So how does that square with a health initiative when all those sugary products are one of the main reasons why there's so much obesity, especially in the Latin America? Your name again is Roberto. Nice to meet you. How are you? I think you know obesity is something that you, is a multi-factor uh, disease. Uh, if you think about, and it depends on where you want to look at this. In Mexico, where we there is a problem in society, there is a growing obesity level. The average Mexican goes out there and consumes about three thousand calories a day. Okay, and when you start looking at what carbonated beverages sugared beverages are as a proportion of the exceeding amount of calories is only 5%. So when you think you know, about Colombia, and you start seeing Colombia, and the per capita consumption in Colombia of carbonated soft drinks or sugared beverages, it's a third of what the Mexican you know, uh, uh, industry has. 
So in Colombia, it's you know it's not a problem in terms of you know uh, going out there as as in terms of consumption as let's say Mexico is, and in Mexico it's not a problem. Here is just making sure that it doesn't become one. Again, what we do as a, as corporations is offer also a lot of different types of portfolio of beverages. We go from water to light drinks, you know, and in our portfolio, about 40% of our beverages are also, you know, you know, do not have any caloric content in it. So, you know, there's, we're shaping choice. We're giving the consumer a broader appeal of portfolios. And also, you know, we're giving them from, from hydration all the way to nutrition now, okay, in terms of our uh, choices. So I think, you know, you know when we say that it, the elephant in the room is there, I think you have to step back and say, yes, we contribute to somewhat of the problem, but the problem is a lot bigger than just beverages. If I could just add one thing to the very eloquent answer that John just gave. I think part of this program is also educating consumers mm -hmm about what they are choosing to do. And that is one of the things we also really like, is the fact that there is a big education component to this, there is transparency, um, and at the end of the day, consumers are much more informed when they make the choices they make. That's why we like this program a lot. Well, and I would just add that this is one of many things that these companies are doing. Um, these companies have committed to uh, not to advertise to children under the age of 12. Um, they've also committed to removing uh, full calorie beverages from schools. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is one of many things. And as we've learned in the US, that's what we need. It, it can't just be one thing. There's no one um, solution to the problem of obesity, which is why we need a broad coalition of people to come together. And we need diverse ideas to work together on this problem. Um, because, as, as John mentioned, they are they are five percent of consumption. So, and the obesity problem is not, you know, just a five percent problem. So, it's I think it's also looking at it in the broader context of the other efforts that they are taking on. Um, uh, but this will be an important part of that in educating the consumers. And just in terms of, I don't believe I spoke to what the focus of the curriculum is for kids. It's about healthy choices and establishing healthy habits. And one thing we know and research shows is that the earlier kids get into healthy habits, the more likely they are to keep them throughout their lifetime. So this program isn't about what's good, what's bad. It's about giving kids um, an understanding of how food and physical activity relate. But more broadly, it's about helping kids understand the importance of making good choices in the foods you eat, in the way you live, in the amount of sleep you get, in your socio-emotional uh, health. It's all of that. So just wanted to give that context. So we're going to take one more question from the room. Seems like we've answered all of your questions. I'd like to thank... Uh, <laughs> oh. And... Um, I'd like to thank the viewers on live stream and definitely all of our experts uh, who joined us today, our panelists. Thank you very much for launching this initiative at the World Economic Forum. Um, thank you for attending. Thank you.